is Nicole the Math Lady, and today's lesson is on subtracting mixed numbers with regrouping. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, mixed numbers. Remember, it's a whole number and a fraction with it. So I've given you one here. Let's say that I walked into the cafeteria and I saw left there were six and three twelfths pizza pies left. So there were six full pizza pies and there was one, but there were only three slices out of the twelve still there. And they said, go, take some pizza for your, for your class. And I said, oh, okay, great. And I wanted to take, but not everything. I don't want to, you know, I want to leave for other people. So I, I only want to take three and five twelfths pizzas. I know, why can't I just take the full four? And, I don't want to overeat, okay? So I'm only going to take three and five twelfths of the pizza. Here's the problem. When I go to do this subtraction, I can't subtract the three from the five. So we're going to do what's called regrouping. We're going to regroup this. It's kind of like borrowing and regular subtraction with a little twist. Take a look. So I'm going to just going to erase the pizza pie part so I've got some room to work. And over here, I'm going to change 6 and 3 twelfths. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take 1 from my 6 and turn it into 12 twelfths because we know 12 twelfths is the same thing as saying 1. It'll look like this. Here, five. Now, I have my 12 twelfths, right? So this, this six goes to five and 12 twelfths. But I have my three that's there already hanging out. I can't forget about the three. So I'm going to add my 12 and my three together, which gives me 15 twelfths. So yes, we're going to have an improper fraction over there, and that's OK for now. Now I can subtract my three and five twelfths pizza from it. 15 minus 5 is 10 over 12. And then now I do my whole numbers. 5 minus 3 is 2. Now, am I done? Of course not. We always simplify fractions when we can. So what number goes into both 10 and 12? The number 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. So my answer is 2 and 5, 6 pizza pies that are left. Let's give you another example. This example, I don't have any pizza pie stories for you. I've got just straight math. So if we want to do 8 and 3 sixteenths minus 3 and 5 sixteenths, as you see, we have a little bit of a problem there. So we have to do our version of borrowing. But when you borrow with fractions, it's called regrouping. And again, we're going to take this 8 we're going to make it 7 and 16 sixteenths. Now I'm going to rewrite it over here. Here's my 7. I've got my 16 sixteenths, but don't forget about this 3 hanging out here. I've got to add it to my 16. So 16 plus 3 is 19 over 16. So you should always have an improper fraction over here when you borrow. Now I can subtract my 3 and 5 sixteenths. Here we go. 19 minus 5 is 14 over 16. 7 minus 3 is 4. Are we done? Nope, we're not. Why? Because we always simplify our fractions when we can. So what number goes into both 14 and 16? The number 2. So let's simplify the 14 sixteenths to 7 over 8, which makes our total answer 4 and 7 eighths. All right, one more example. My last problem for you deals with percents. Ah, and guess what? We handle it the same way. Here we have 100. We're trying to subtract 66 and a third. We've got nothing to subtract our third from. So we're going to regroup 100 into 99 and 3 thirds. Now I'm going to rewrite it. 99. Now I've got my 3 thirds, and um, that's actually it. I've got nothing to add it to, so I'm just going to write 3 thirds. So it doesn't have to be an improper fraction here. It could just be the equivalent to that 1 that you borrowed. Now we're going to subtract 66 and 1 third. 3 thirds minus 1 third is 2 thirds. And 99 minus 66 is 33. And I'm going to add my label back in so I don't forget it. My answer, 33 and 2 thirds.
So that's how you do it with regrouping. When you don't have enough to subtract from, you just do a little regrouping and ta-da, you now have enough. Okay, great job. Make sure you use, see the practice examples and practice, practice, practice. But I think you've got this. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.